Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 22nd video in Veeam Advanced Training and in this video I'm going to show you uh, adding CIFS SMB shares um, as a backup repository in Veeam Backup and Replication. So in Veeam Backup and Replication we have multiple options to add a backup repository like we can add a SMB share we can add the drive which is local drive on the um, backup server we can dr add a drive which is available on remote server we can add the Linux uh, shares all these stuff so uh, in this video we are going to uh, sh uh, focus on adding the CIFS uh, SMB shares in Veeam backup and application so here is my lab environment for this video so we have three virtual machine the first virtual machine is win2k12 dc01 which is our active directory and dns server if i go here you can see active directory and dns server and our uh, domain controller win2k12 dc01 and our domain name is vectorinfosol.com so this is our domain controller and dns server and then we have a uh, veeam server which is win2k12 hyphen veeam and uh, this is Veeam backup and replication server so we are using both the machines in second video so I'm going to connect the Veeam backup and replication console and the last machine which we have uh, is in, uh, is a uh, file server which is win2k12 f01 this is windows 2012 r2 file server and if I go here you can see this is a file server which having win2k12 fs01 and this is simply my file server if I go here you can see I have some shares here and I have my local drive which is uh, shares uh, as a D drive so this is my 500 gig share drive uh, drive for the on a file server so this we are going to add so this is my veeam backup and replication console so to add the um, to add the this smb share we need to create one smb folder basically share on our file server so i'm going to create it so let's go to inventory first and uh, backup infrastructure then we have a backup repository if i right click here we have option add backup repository so i'm going to click here and i'm going to type the name so SMB on into K12 FS01. So just I'm going to modify in the name. So this is SMB backup repository on file server window k12 fs01 to description in the description so this is uh, SMB share on this uh, file server and we have typed the description also so if I click next this is going to give you the type so we have a Microsoft server which is going to be a uh, direct attach or internal storage which is available on Microsoft server so I'm going to focus on this shared folder right now so shared venue backing up uh, over the slow link we recommend to specify the gateway server so i'm going to use this uh, share folder and if i click next then it's asking for the share folder so if i go here on a file server we need to create one folder here so i'm going to create one folder on file server so i'm on a file server and now i'm going on my d drive and i'm going to type Veeam Veeam backup and I'm going to share this folder and properties from advanced sharing I'm going to share this folder and in the permission I'm going to allow everyone as a share permission and we need to do the same on security so in a security this is basically an TFS permission so you can uh, add your uh, a specific account or whatever you need so I'm going to for example I'm going to add here everyone for now for this is just for testing if you have in production I recommend you to add the only specified group or user which uh, need to have access to this folders and then apply okay 
so now we have created this folder and if I go and refresh this you can see Veeam backup is there and same on from the Veeam server also we can verify so the Veeam backup I'm going to copy this path and I'm going to paste it here uh, this shares require access credential so I'm going to use a, uh, this credential and gateway server it's automatically if you want to specify any gateway server you can specify the gateway server so I'm going to use the automatic selection click next and then it's going to connect the server and get the detail for us so you can see the capacity of this folder uh, veeam backup and f uh, veeam underscore backup it's depend on the what is the size of this drive so it's going to give you the around 500 gig so this is good and now we can maximum limit uh, limit the maximum concurrent task on this backup repository and uh, you can also specify the read write so I'm going to put it like 200 as I know this is a file server so I want to limit the uh, read write to this file server as this is highly utilized or you can change it as per your requirement basically and then we have a advanced option here you can uh, specify the like uh, some advanced feature which we can use so it's a storage compatibility setting it's depend on how you want to set the your compatibility for storage so I'm going to leave the default and then click next and then it's going to give you the mount server details so where you want to mount this backup repository so I'm going to mount here and enable v vpower nfs service to mount server recommended so I'm going to click on next so it's going to detect the uh, previously installed component so if I go here we can see what the tools is installed so you can see transport hyper-v integration and installer services already there on file server so we can see it's going to give you all the services already adjust so we are good to go and this is going to give you the full information about what we are going to do here so repository type CIFS and mount server this is the same Veeam server then we have account this is a service account by Veeam and then we have a share folder which is backup folder and then we have a uh, right throughput 200 megabyte per second and the maximum uh, parallel task not if not limited so now we are good and and this is one more advanced option if you have any existing backup uh, already there which is saved and that uh, share folder it's automatically if you want you can automatically import it so we don't have any backup sh currently because this is a new folder so we can leave this default and then click on apply so now it's going to starting manage services you can see this is finished and it's quite fast and we can close and finish and then we can see the share folder has been created and you can see this small icon here uh, which is going to give you the details and if I rescan re it's going to rescan all the backup repository and then we will we will verify this again so this is good and now if I go here you can see the type CFS and we have a backup path then we have a capacity free and this is going to give you the description what is there in this uh, share folder so if I right click you can see the properties and you can define the settings you can rem uh, rescan we have a remove option and we have a proxy uh, option also available here which we can define the proxy for this uh, backup server backup storage and then we have uh, access permission if you want to uh, give the deny to everyone access to everyone whatever permission you want to give you can specify those permissions here and you can allow or access or deny for this uh, particular uh, CFS um, backup repository and then we have a location we can manage the location also if we have any specific location we can name this location as a specific site or the server and then we have a properties button if you want to modify any settings later on we can go anytime and we can modify like uh, we can modify the shares repository anything if you want to modify or the mount server you want to 
uh, modify you can come to here and you can anytime we can go and check the um, settings and if required we can modify definitely we can modify these settings and also you can modify the limit concurrent session or this so this is how we can set so I'm going to click on next and finish I'm just going to modify the concurrent session to 4 and pilot task to 4 and then we have our throughput and we can click on apply it's going to apply these settings now so this is done So it's rescans and the status is successful so this is how we can add the CIFS or SMB share as a backup repository in Veeam backup and replication so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post them in my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye